Today we're going to be taking a look at the Airlift Load Controller 2 compressor system for air helper springs. Although a manual inflation valve to fill up or deflate your airbags will work just fine, they can be a little inconvenient, especially when you're trying to make changes on the go or you're not at the house. That way you're not going to have to go out and find an air compressor or a gas station and fill up your bags every time. So what's nice about the onboard compressor is you're not going to have to worry about any of that. You're going to be able to inflate or deflate your bags anywhere you are. So whether you're at the job site or way far out of town, not around an air compressor, you're going to be able to get the job done. And not to mention, since this does have a low pressure sensor, you're not going to have to worry about maintenance because it'll automatically detect that minimum pressure your bags require and fill them up to that. Now probably my favorite thing about this system is that you're going to be able to not only inflate and deflate your bags right here, you're also going to be able to monitor them. So that's going to be really handy because many times it's hard to guess how much air pressure is going to be needed in your bags as far as only having the manual inflation option. So this way you can hook your trailer up or your load, put in the amount that you think is necessary, drive a few miles. If you think you need more air or you have a little too much, you're able just to make those changes quickly from right here, as opposed to having to get out on the side of the road, let air out, or pull over into the next gas station to fill them up more. So whenever you're ready to add air, you'll come up here to the switch and hold it down until the desired amount. Then whenever you're ready to let air out, just come down to this silver knob, push down, and that'll release some of that air pressure. Now compared to some of the other styles out there that allow you to make adjustments on your phone and monitor it from your phone and have all these different settings, I kind of like the more traditional one like this because you're kind of getting the meat and potatoes. You're going to just be able to monitor everything from right here and not have to rely on other electronics or batteries. With this one, you hook it up once, you know it's going to work, you're not going to have to deal with connecting to it and this and that. So this just gets the job done. Now the onboard compressor is going to take a little bit longer to fill our bags up compared to your traditional gas station style air compressor. And that's because it is a compact design, it's going to be a smaller compressor. But in my opinion, that trade-off is going to be well worth it because it's going to be much easier to find a spot to mount that compressor. And in today's newer vehicles, everything's getting more cluttered and it can be really difficult to find a spot to mount an aftermarket component. And that'll finish up our look at of the Airlift Load Controller 2 compressor system for air helper springs.